Okay, so as you can see, the room is completely filled. Um, these are pretty straightforward to find. Uh, the one thing I will mention though, I took out the door and added in the windows. Now the windows can be found in segments. They are called window large. Uh, you go to segments and then go to scenery. I'm not going to go over it completely as to what I did because they're pretty straightforward. Uh, and I would like to take this time to go over something, you know, some new stuff and new techniques. And one of them, to continue in with our process to make this game uh, be more like a game, no game is a game without lighting. And that's what we're going to do. We're going to add in some lights. Now, to add in lights, you go to markers. And voila, it's right there, white light. Or if you want to do something different, you can. They have all kinds of colors. They have purple light, cayenne light, yellow light, blue light, green light, red light. But we're just going to use the standard because I'm a cliche like that. Okay, now the b big circle <laughs> that's surrounding the light, uh, that's its range. That's how bright the light can go. And wow, as you can see, that's a little too bright. So what we're going to do is use the brackets, the left bracket. Uh, which is the hotkey for changing its radius. The right bracket increases its radius, which we don't really want to do. That's the one thing uh, I really don't want to do. So we're going to use the left bracket, which will decrease its range. Uh, let's, let's say about there. Now I'm going to put it, I'm going to put the, uh, three of them in the room. One there one there and one there and then I'm gonna place gonna increase its range right there and I'm also gonna add in more one two three and four alright so there's the lights now unfortunately the free version doesn't have uh, light covers or anything to sort of add the illusion that there are actual light bulbs involved. I apologize for that. Uh, but uh, you know I, I don't want to show you stuff that you don't have which is why I'm also using stuff that are limited in the free version. Um, so yeah, but I do but, but I do apologize for that. <clears throat> um, so now what we're gonna do, we are going to add a player start which are also in markers uh, player start indicates as it sounds player starts indicate where the player is going to start when the game initially begins uh, in some cases it's not really important but it is important when you want to publish your game uh, because if you don't publish your game your character actually won't appear uh, so we're gonna put a play and put a play start right there, and we're also going to add a win checkpoint or a win zone. Zones are they're cubes as they look like. Uh, zones are cubes where uh, when you when the player walks through them, they will uh, they will initiate an action, almost like a script. Uh, so, but we're going to add the wind zone right here. Click and hold the left mouse button. I'm sorry. Click, uh, press and hold shift, and then drag. This will uh, increase its radius as to where it is. I'm going to place it in there. There we go. Uh, as you can see, we have two enemies here. Again, you can find them in entities. And it looks like... Looks like we may be complete. Um, yeah, it looks, uh, looks like we may be done.